something about loving someone. First of all, it's not easy. People are not puzzle pieces. They aren't just another slice of jigsaw for idle play. You have to understand that before you start messing with people's heads. Likewise, you aren't Play-Doh. Don't let others mash you up and turn you into their own image of beauty by mixing the colors because the hue of green you were before was absolutely stunning. You doubt love exists, but those tears that rolled down your mother's cheeks when she held you for the first time were bright carnival lights that dripped onto your skin, and they weren't a lie. You doubted the one would ever come when all the boys laughed at the way you weren't worthy of having any of them, because the conviction that rolls off the edge of a forked tongue can cut deeper than a double-edged sword. You doubted the one would ever come, because in sixth grade, you dated the boy who had stuck in your mind like peanut butter to the roof of your mouth since fourth grade. But when you wanted to hold his hand, he reached as if dipping, dipping his hand in a bucket of ice. He held your hand at length, like the bug in the tissue being rushed to the trash. And you bit back tears and took your hand away, but you didn't let it touch you, because it burned your skin when his chilled fingerprints touched it. They're still there. You doubted the one would ever come when every school dance passed by and never was an eye cast upon the bull in the china shop for fear they would be stampeded. There was no more doubt when the Sadie Hawkins dance came along your freshman year and the boy you wanted to ask said yes to your friend before you had finished biting the inside of your cheek over the thought. There was no doubt because you knew he wasn't coming. But listen to me, because for now, I am the wisest of us, and I know you won't hear words as sweet as these for a while yet. Your eyes are not oceans, but I drown in them every day. Your hair will never be compared to a waterfall of golden threads that shimmer in the sun, but the way it hangs like curtains around a stained glass window is more, worth more than every adjective I could ever arrange into an analogy. You can't tell your jokes without stuttering like a car engine that's running on a mostly dead battery, but when I hear them in your head, I laugh plenty. I know I blame you for being imperfect and making bad choices and not standing up for yourself. But on the bad days, I'll try to remember what it's like to be you. I won't be so hard on the thick oak in the flower garden. I will not call the sunburnt raft in the sea any bad words anymore. And I'll try not to cringe at the bull in the china shop any longer. Because you're stepping as lightly as you can. That's more than enough for me. And when I stop doing all these horrible things, you will not doubt love exists anymore. Woo!